today we have another unique machine to measure the Electrolux intensity. It was a rather, well, it's a different styled machine, of course, with the foldable handle and kind of the compact upright design. Even has a little cord winder. But these have an extremely small bag, although the air path on it is very, very short because our motor is right behind here, and then we just have a short little suction tube that goes to there. But despite the short path, I don't think the uh, flow on this thing is quite as strong as you might expect. And I've noticed, you know, when I took it apart, which I, <laughs> I managed to break it a little bit because I didn't realize that uh, these two panels over here and over here have to be removed in order to access the screws underneath. Two screws here and one screw right at the back of the unit right here. Once these covers, once these two covers are removed. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I managed to break it, but it's not noticeable. I just kind of loop some tape under this side because the uh, latches on this are still intact. It's just this one that lost it. So I looped some tape and stuck it on there. And since that part doesn't really get contacted by anything, it should be fine. But anyways, the, uh, the brush roll motors clean or cooling air comes in through here, but it's actually exhausted in through the system. And I think that we would see a loss of both suction and airflow due to the diverted air path. But it's not, it's not a huge hole for that. Well, maybe a little bit bigger than I thought. But uh, still, you know, that will probably affect it a little. This is going to be a pain. Back in there. There we have a new HEPA filter, new pre-motor filter, new bag, so we should be running at optimal performance. Oh, and I found this interesting. While taking it apart, there was a micro switch right down here, and I couldn't figure out what it was for until I ran this thing without the, without the door on it, and then I realized that's for the brush roll. <laughs> so this unit won't run the brush roll motor when the door is not in place. And like I said, we've got a cord winder, and we have the handle release back here. Oh yeah, you can kind of see one of the... Yeah. I, I had that crack, so I super glued it. It's held, and I don't expect it to kind of break away since we're not going to <clears throat> be hitting that part. And then we have a telescopic handle. And we have a push button control here. Oh, and the uh, brush roll motor was DC. I thought that was a little bit interesting. I've heard you can get more torque with DC motors. And then we'll take a look at the brush roll. It's fairly stiff, a little on the stiffer side, I would say definitely not quite a medium. Um, oh, I should mention, if anyone knows where to find a spare brush roll for this, uh, I could use one. Because the, the, uh, we had a little bit of melting alongside one of the ends. I believe it was the brush end, or the belt end. So, I mean, it still works for the time being. And I've already searched different part sites and eBay and whatever, and I haven't come up with any, haven't come up with any, uh, suitable replacements for it yet. So, just in case anyone does know where to find one. So, we take our voltage. Take our wattage.
to be all we'll get. Yeah, the suction isn't really strong because we definitely have leakage through like the uh, frontal motor chamber and I can feel a little bit around the plate on the top here. So it's not super well sealed, but I suppose, you know, you don't want too much seal or it becomes hard to operate. So now let's turn the brush hole on. test. We got a little bit of agitation out of it. That's difficult to do one-handed <laughs> because you push that little lever up and then the handle folds back. But uh, yeah, it's a quirky little machine for sure. Definitely not bad, but I, I, guess, I guess I can see why it would have been discontinued because I mean it's kind of it's kind of an awkwardly shaped unit, and uh, you know of course the complete lack of any above the floor accessories which. I think these were fairly spendy. Maybe I'm wrong, but you know, that, the small bag size, it's got some flaws, but it's neat. Oh, and if anyone's, I'm sure I might be asked about this, Canadian Electrolux 89, I need to find a hose for it. I thought the standard old metal canister fitting would work for that, but I was wrong. So, gotta find a Canadian either cuff or hose so yep another test down a few more to go thanks for watching <laughs>